If you give an inch or two above that little bone, you'll be safe as we come to here and our next technique is a very easy and universal one for the whole adductor group, which is to spread it away from the midline. Now I am putting my two fists on here. I don't care whether you do it like this or like this, but what you're looking for is to find the midline, sink into the tissue, and begin to spread the tissue left and right. Could you do that with your fingers this way? Yeah, you can, but you're likely to be held out on the surface, and Sean's got strong muscles here, so I actually want to sink in to his leg. Now, the other thing that we constantly call for here is movement, so Sean, could you take your knee forward and back? Now, you can hardly see his movement on the video, he, but he is moving forward and back. doesn't matter if they move any more than a half an inch. It's the idea that they're moving as you spread. And look at how wide my hands are going. You can take this right around to the front and the back of the body, then go up three or four inches, next fist's worth, so to speak, and open this up. And you can keep this going right up the body from the inside of the knee up the inside of the thigh towards the ischial ramus and each time you just fall into the tissue, get set, and then spread that tissue wide as they take the knee forward and back, just as if they were walking a little bit like that.